going on everybody? It is Christmas Eve morning. Yeah! It's like 90 degrees out. Going out spearfishing with my brother, David Parr today. Mission, kill a big grouper, catch a couple lobsters, smash a few lionfish's heads, throw them on ice, bring them back to the house. What's going on boys? Do it. Don't forget your donut. Just stopped by Jupiter Donut Factory. In case you don't know, they have the best donuts on planet Earth. Let's go diving. So this is like one of me and my brother's favorite things to do as brothers. Go, go boys, go, go, go! They go. We come out and uh, catch a few lobster, spear some grouper, maybe lionfish. But more importantly, we're just hanging out as brothers, having a good time. Um, our little brother Gabe, he would be here, but he's probably out duck hunting right now. So. We're all out doing something, and that's the main idea of the story.
All right, you guys, one of my most often asked questions is what is my favorite fish in the whole world to eat? Well, these are called hogfish. They're actually a member of the wrasse family, and a lot of people call them hog snapper. You can catch them on hook and line, but primarily people will spear them. That's a male, that's a female. You can tell by the stripe on the top of their head. They have a really cool dorsal fin that flares up like a crest, and they are phenomenal to eat. Let me show you real quick how to fillet them. Take a nice sharp fillet knife, just like every other fish in the world. Come in behind that head. Take your knife right down the backbone. Just try to make a nice little thin cut. These aren't the largest hogfish in the world, although they are legal. And I mean, the meat is just as good as it gets. They have a really um, pronounced rib cage, so you gotta cut up and over it. And then as soon as you get to the other side of it, you cut back down, still plenty of meat there. Look how beautiful that is. Looks like Tasty Tuesday in Macon right You're, here. You can count on that. This will be Tasty Tuesday. Fresh hog fish. Anytime you're at a seafood market or if you're trying to buy fresh fish or if you want to know if your fish is good, smell it. Should not have a fishy odor. If it has a fishy odor, throw it away and definitely don't buy it because it ain't fresh. All right, what's up you guys? I hope you're enjoying the spear fishing. I sure did. That is one of those lobster tails. Look at that. Beauty. Now, this is what that beautiful hogfish looks like. See that? I'm gonna show you guys how to make the easiest fish in the whole world, and I'm even gonna do it with this lobster tail. Right off the bat, take a good sharp knife, go right down the center, just like that. Now, Sarah's pregnant, laying in bed, and she is not in the mood for lobster, so I'm only gonna cook one lobster tail. You can go right in here, just like that. This meat will just Come right out, then your meat comes out of the shell. Pretty good. And you can tell I'm filming by myself. If you're new to the channel, that's Everglades seasoning, best stuff on earth. Just lightly season it up. All right, now I'm gonna take all my fish and lobster, that's some all-purpose flour, throw it right in there. Good. Now this is just how easy this is. You're gonna take either your fish or your lobster, roll it in the egg, put it in the breadcrumbs, pull it out, let it dry. You can do the same thing with the fish. You can make this for as few or as many people as you would like. And I'm telling you right now, this fish is gonna come out crispy, flavorful, and absolutely delicious. Not to mention, it's organic. I mean, this stuff's been organic since organic became cool. And I know exactly where it came from, how old it is. It's a perfect scenario. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm almost done here. It is almost time to eat. Now it's time to cook some fish. You don't want it too hot. I find that about 270 degrees is my favorite temperature on my oil. Perfect. Watch how nice this comes out. I'm also making some peas and some rice. Perfectly golden brown. I don't know about y'all, but that looks absolutely perfect. Now I'm cooking my lobster tail a little bit longer because it is quite a bit thicker. I 
All right, you guys, I've already been warned. That's dinner. Fresh hogfish, crusted, nice, crunchy, beautiful fish, uh, peas and rice. Sarah's in bed, not feeling too well. I was gonna go film, but she told me she was gonna kill me if I did. So that's dinner, you guys. Love it, this is awesome, I'll be right back. All right, so she was really happy I wasn't filming. But uh, anyway, check this out, you guys. Woo, hot. So gonna get crumbs on the floor. Look at that. Lord, thank you so much for wonderful, wonderful food. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I'm gonna cut this lobster just so you can see it. Look at that lobster tail. Fresh, beautiful, white meat. Mm. Sorry for eating in front of you, but I guess this is just the uh, only way it's gonna work. If you've never had pan fried lobster tail, try it. All right, well, this wasn't your typical Tasty Tuesday, but this is just the way we live. Some days we have wonderful meals together, but with Sarah being pregnant, you know, she feels good some days, she doesn't feel good others. Yesterday was Christmas, we were all over the place. We were up till one in the morning playing games with our friends. And so today she's been really laying low. I'm sure you guys are the same way. We really so much thank you for all the support. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, great holiday, and uh, thank you for being a part of our channel. We love you, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Take care.